This is your girl, Diva Diva Fashionista, bringing you my unpopular opinion. I know this is one that I don't, I might be shaking the table a little bit on this one, but I, <laughs> but I wanted to talk about this uh, because I think at this point we've all seen the Chloe Bailey and Funky Zyneva incident. We've seen what happened and I need to do house keeping first and foremost because my AC is on because it's hot so you might hear a little noise from that and then my baby I tried to wait till she went to sleep to film but she popped back up on me so she's awake so you might hear a little babbling I apologize if it's distracting hopefully you could get through this so bear with me so we all saw what happened with Funky Zyneva where he was on TGIF which is here on YouTube um um Fox O's channel where um they talk about hot topics, celebrity gossip, that type of thing, where Funky Zyneva said some rather disparaging comments. And I'm not going to play or get into because I feel like at this point, we have all heard what he said um, or if we, we got a little sound bite, or we just listened to what others have said um, about the subject. But I feel like at this point, we've all made our minds up about how we feel about it. I want to say I do I am a supporter of Funky Zyneva. Um, I subscribe to his channel. I watch Fox Souls. So I am a supporter, but I do need to say that I felt like what he said was out of line. He crossed the line. It was unsolicited, unprovoked, and it was just, it was too much. Um, so I don't agree with what he said um, as far as him saying that she is unattractive. And that's what he said. He's not, she said that he, he said that she's not cute to him. That's what he said. I know that the um, <laughs> the internet reverse engineered that said he said she was ugly, <laughs> and that's not quite what he said. But um, in any, I'm not, I'm not here to defend what he said. Um, I just want to say that I don't agree with it. I think that it it was too far. You know, he has issued an apology, but a lot of people's like you keep that because it was you know. You know, he, he acknowledged that he got the call from the network, the bigger, the higher ups, and they told him to issue an apology. He stands ten toes down in what he said, um, but he he acknowledges that he did go too far. So I don't really want to talk so much about that. I kind of want to talk about what I saw when I was on the internet and I was doing my little deep dive because I was watching all the TikToks and I was on Twitter reading. He trended for like two days. I was reading all the comments and I will say that this is one time that his like that demographic of, of his demographic I should say. I don't know how to say that better. Yo. My baby is wilding. <laughs> I don't know how to say it better. Um, I, gay men came out and the gay men were some of the first to say, like, denounce him and really just get in that ass. Like, they dragged him and rightfully so. And I was really proud of the gay men for, you know, a lot of times we just side with our our faves or we just we we turn a blind eye to things that our faves do or people that look like us or people that we can relate to do because they're our faves or we can relate to them so we turn a blind eye but i i do want to acknowledge that they were some of the 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 first to get in that ass and they 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 it was it was brutal <laughs> i'm not even gonna you know yeah they they good they got them all the way together i should say so when I was um, doing this deep dive, I noticed that I was seeing three main things that everyone was saying. And I initially wanted to make this video last week, but then I kind of chickened out because I just kind of didn't want the backlash when I'm going to say something opposing to what other people thought. I just didn't want it. I didn't want the heat. I try to keep my channel. I try to keep my space as peaceful as possible so i didn't really want the drama but it was something that funky dineva said on friday when they were talking about something else and i gotta admit it was towards the end of the show so i wasn't paying close attention to exactly what they were talking about but funky says um something he posed a question to claudia and al about you know, i guess the backlash he was getting and the fact that people were calling him old and saying like he's too old oh he's old and he never looked at himself like that you know and to say like he's too old to then speak on 
to these topics and i think al tried to tell me it's okay like you know al kind of reassured her claudia didn't really have much to say she just was kind of quiet on the subject um but it was brief you know and they kind of just moved on because it was towards the end of the show but that was one of the points i wanted to make when i initially thought about making this video because when i was in the comments i saw three overall three overall main topics people were saying one that he is unattractive because he's unattractive he has no right to speak on anyone else's attractiveness that was one two they were saying that as a man he shouldn't speak on that black queen like he's a man he shouldn't be talking on women and then three was he's too old he's too old he's too old that was i think that one kind of outshadowed uh no the uh, ugly was first and i think like uh it was a close second with the he's too old and um it, it made me want to have that discussion i really want to talk on those three main points first of all attractiveness we all say beauty is in the eye of the beholder right but if he was more conventionally attractive if he was someone we deem to be sexy or hot would what he has said been okay because as he said he, he didn't make a point that you know the numbers don't match up as far as how she's being supported on the internet as far as how much her music sells so had someone else said that had someone else and then that's so the cuteness saying she's not cute is asinine to me because that girl is gorgeous she's talented sexy all the all of the above beautiful voice so and and i i don't know where he was he was talking about she ain't cute i don't know he was tripping on that but um if he was more attractive would what he have said had been accepted would people have sided with him would this have just been a joke would it have been a ha ha moment if let's say i don't know i don't know too many people in that space well let's say chris brown said it and not funky dineva would we be laughing would we would we be chuckling now would this have been like a hot moment and then we moved on or would there be this much backlash i don't think so i think that pretty privilege is a uh, thing and desirability is definitely a thing um celebrity let's say drake said it drake is someone who's has more fans or maybe more popular than chloe had he said said it would it have been this moment i leave y'all to answer that question secondly um with the man speaking on the woman yeah that's silly to me and I, it's silly to me because there's a lot of men in this space um the most famous shock jock is howard stern rich beyond imagine from being in this space of talking about whomever anybody could get it um he said some of the most outlandish vile things and he's very very rich because of it uh when i grew up here in new york we had star and buck wild on the on radio they were very popular for a very long time they said crazy stuff on the radio um currently we have charlamagne and dj envy they say some questionable stuff um and they if that's not the most popular morning show in new york it's one of the most popular they are very wealthy men and they're very popular in that space you go to Dish Nation, uh, there's men on that panel, um, Ricky Smiley. There's a lot of people, and not everyone makes their brands from hitting below the belt, but there's men in these spaces, and there has probably always been men in these spaces. So to say that a man cannot have a comment is crazy. That's He's literally doing his job. He's showing up at work. They put this script in front of him. This is what we're going to talk about. Go. Again, he went too far, but that's the nature of his job, you know, and saying like, oh, he shouldn't speak. What are you supposed to do? Supposed to sit up there and say, no comment, no comment. I'm a man, no comment. Um, yeah, some their opinions that he gave his opinion. Sometimes your opinion is gonna be off. I often say that opinions are like buttholes, like everyone has one. And we have to just come to terms with the fact that some of them stink yeah you're not gonna always agree with someone and they're not they're gonna miss the mark um but everyone is entitled to an opinion um and just know that sometimes your opinion can get you in hot water and lastly uh being old i probably want to title this video something about like ageism 
But so tell her I was saying that he's too old to speak on this young black queen. He could be her father. So comments like that. So wants to be her daddy. Like, how dare he? I never thought I would get on the internet and say this, but here we go. <laughs> My daughter's determined to be in this video. Say hi, Deej. <laughs> so, here we go. I am the same age as Funky Zaniva. Yes, I said it. I don't like to say the F word, <laughs> but I am the same age. So, we, I probably relate to him because we, we have, we have the same generation. We have probably have similar backgrounds as far as how we were raised. I have family by way of Florida. My grandparents are from like Tampa, Tallahassee. Um, so we probably were raised the same way in the church, same type of morals. So that's probably where I re relate to him. Um, but I noticed that recently, like usually I'm not, I try to be responsible in internet spaces because I don't think that there's any reason to be nasty or negative to people you don't know. We can argue the point, we could disagree, or we have um, difference of opinions, but when people start name calling, I, I automatically, I disengage. I, I'm not interested in that. When um, it becomes hostile, like we, yeah, I don't have any time for that. I don't like that. I think that, um, there's no need for that. That's like uncalled for. But people love it. I've been told that if I can't, st I can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. Pretty much that on the internet, it <laughs> that if you're on the internet, that people want to say different things. Um, grow up. I've been told all type of stuff when I when I question like people like why are you talking like that? Why are you speaking like that to strangers? Like you know, it's uncalled for. It's like oh please, you know, people have that idea like the internet is not a real place <laughs> and it's it's like who makes the rules i noticed that lately i've been told i've been like whenever someone disagrees with me like that's why you're old and this is why we hate old people and you're like i'm old like i jv said 40's a new 20 <laughs> and if and if that's the case if i'm too old are we letting the 20 year olds make 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 the rules are the 20 year olds in charge? Like, should they be in charge? I feel like, like I grew up, I always listened to my elders. My elders were always there. I always listened to the people around me and cause I know there's a lot of wisdom. I don't want to be 20. I love my children. I know that that comes with age. A lot of the wisdom that I have comes with age. I know that that I wouldn't trade that. I wouldn't trade. I don't want to be a twenty year old. I am okay with my my age. I often call myself old, but it's just weird that as soon as we disagree, that's the first thing someone's gonna say. That's why you're old. I'm like, and you should wish that you would live to be my age. <laughs> like you will hope that you will see forty years on this earth and be in good health. Being your sound mind, because there's a lot of people who didn't make it to this age. A lot of people who suffer from all types of ailments but that's not that's neither here nor there i don't think that your age disqualifies you from being able to have an opinion on someone who may be younger in fact i i watch fumi on here fumi every video fumi will tell you she's she's 54 she's 54 she's 54 she's 54 but i think that you want to eat <laughs> I think that with age becomes a responsibility. You have to give respect to get it. So you're expected as an elder to behave in a certain way. And I think that these, these comments weren't respectable. And that he wasn't behaving in a way that, that an elder should, you know, but to say like just because someone is old or whatever that they sh they can have an opinion i think that that that's exactly who should have an opinion that we should be listening to our elders you know i want to be an, a beacon i want to be that that the internet auntie could come to me for the sound advice just like my my real nieces and nephews who come to me and hear a couple dollars <laughs> and hear some sound advice but that's just my opinion on this um yeah the internet is not a real place y'all um at the end of the day final point is that we're american and we we uphold that constitution and in the constitution we talk about freedom 
of speech. So freedom of speech means that you can say whatever the heck you want to. You know, freedom of speech is just American as apple pie and guns, unfortunately, right? We love to tout that um, constitution. So, you know, we got to respect it. I often say that um, freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom from consequence. So you say something crazy, you may lose your job, you may get punched, <laughs> knocked up, <laughs> knocked out. Um, hey, <laughs> uh, so just be careful. Um, let me know your thoughts on this topic down below. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And yeah, me and little baby Deej, we're out. Bye. Say bye. <laughs>